Is this thing working? Sweet. Hi, welcome to another episode of Next Meridian Expedition. I'm Nick and Mathilde is somewhere in this beautiful garden that we are here in Baja California. And today uh, I'm going to talk to you about sponsorships, collaborations, partnerships, whatever you want to call it. I use the term partnerships with our partners. This is what seems to fit best the description. So during this trip, as you know, travelers, overlanders, a lot are asking about, hey, so how do you get partnership? Hey, uh, what is the deal between you and the partner? How long does it last? What are they asking from you? How often do you have to post? How many videos do you have to make? Are you getting paid? How much are you getting paid? Um, how do you calculate the, the amount that you should be paid? There's a lot of questions out there. I personally am no expert. Um, I'm learning along on the way. We've left seven months ago. We do have 11, 12 partnerships right now, but it's different than some of the other YouTubers or influencers out there because others are much bigger. Uh, others have done deals uh, differently. Uh, different continents offer different deals and different methods of making deals. Uh, so I think the results will be very different, but I'm just going to share my type of partnerships, how, what they look like, how they work, and um, why we got them. Hopefully this will be helpful to you because online it's very hard to find any information and if you do find information it's quite irregular, uh, it's very vague. The prices are not really shown online or discussed because they want to keep it vague so that people don't really know what the prices are. Uh, I have my phone here, I'm just looking at it some, from time to time just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. First of all, what are partnerships? Well, there's many different types, uh, usually partnerships is two entities coming together to work with each other in exchange for goods, products or services. Obviously, um, we are overlanding the world in a Land Rover 110. We are looking for products, so it could be Defender accessories, um, mostly it could be uh, services, for example, like a VPN or cell coverage for our phone or things like that. Um, and general products like clothing or shoes. And for those matches between partners to exist well i as an overlander will showcase their products send them images send them videos and they in exchange will give me some products or some services which are needed for me and then we will stipulate how long this deal will go for and how much it will be worth now uh, different types of par uh, partnerships exist or collaborations i'm going to take an example let's say this jacket i'm not sponsored by the jacket but let's say the jacket uh, was given to me for free in exchange for a p picture or for a video or multiple pictures or videos then for paid partnerships it would be that a company gives me a jacket and 100 euros for example or 500 euros to do multiple pictures and videos so for a package um, and it could be different platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook all this is decided together when we're making the deal then others are um, commission based so for example maybe I get the jacket for free but each sale I get a percentage from it, usually it's between 5 to 10, some go up to 20%. Uh, and I think I've seen once 30% and that was probably in the jewelry in industry which seemed insane. Um, and I'm sure there's tons of other partnerships out there. Um, our partnerships mostly are free partnerships, meaning we get a product or a service and in exchange uh, we um, show a case a video uh, and pictures and tag them on Instagram Facebook and YouTube and uh, these partners that we get are partners that we want so we are searching on the glo on the web for companies we want to work with because I need their products so for example the solar panels I needed solar panels for the trip and we worked with Sunware in Germany who gave us solar panels and in exchange we tag them send them videos talk about them and we're like the brand ambassador in some other words and that's how we manage our partnerships usually we just work with partners or brands we are interested in and in exchange of course uh, we give them content why are partnerships interesting to us well for us um, we believe in brands that we work with uh, we will pick them uh, we get a lot of requests um, and it's funny how different levels of followings bring different types of industries so um, for example if we had between 500 followers to 1,500, we would get a lot from jewelry. Maybe up to 5,000 would be jewelry. From 5,000 to 1,000, it would to 10,000. Sorry, it would be 
uh, the solar pa solar power generators like uh, Jackery. And then as you go higher, then it's different brands. Now there's a lot of agencies writing to us saying, hey, uh, for a fee, uh, we could put you around on newspapers and, uh, and newsletters and magazines. So it's funny how each increment of followers, you get different industries uh, t uh, getting in contact with you. In our case, we probably get two or three partnership requests per week. It, uh, to us, it seems like a lot. I'm sure that bigger accounts get one per day or three per day or five per day. It gets, I guess, only bigger as you grow. Um, we probably reject 99% of them. I think we only accepted one. And this was back in Belgium. So Roverland, one of our partners, uh, he wrote to us saying, hey, would you like a heat exchanger for your, for your shower so that you can have hot shower? And we said, yes, we really need one. And uh, we, he lived an hour and a half away from where we lived. So it was perfect. Um, but apart from that, we actually rejected all of the others because either we already had the product or because it was just not interesting to us. And we're not pushing for consumerism. Um, all the brands we work with, we don't say, hey, go buy these products. We say we've tested them, we like them, we've handpicked them as they handpicked us as well. And um, it works perfectly fine. If you are looking for, for example, solar panels, we have these ones, you can go buy these ones because they function now there's tons of brands out there in the market so do your research if you don't want to do your research then you can just copy what we have everything we have so far we're very happy about um, and that's sort of how we do our partnerships we try to keep it as uh, flexible as possible when we make the deals in a sense that um, yes we will talk to them throughout our different platforms because we don't mind talking about brands that we appreciate and we enjoy having through our platforms. Um, I've noticed when watching other influencers, sometimes it could be annoying when there's a product placement saying, hey, I have this product, it's great, why don't you click the link here and purchase it? And here's a code that you can have. We don't do codes and we never say, hey, go and click the link. What we usually do is say, hey, this is a solar panel we're using, it's working great, look how cool it looks. Uh, or for example, rough parts, they have this uh, foldable external table we say hey this table that we're using is great we're using it every day and so you know in our normal videos of our life as an overlander the products are being used so they'll be shown on the videos but I don't specifically go and say hey look at that table um, so that's how we try to keep the flexibility and we'll post on all of our platforms and uh, we'll send them the images so that they can use it for their website or for their marketing stunts or uh, whatever they actually wish to do and also for us it's sort of cutting costs because on this trip you know we don't have a salary uh, we're living out of our savings and we are trying to cut costs and we're looking to work with brands that can bring us the products we are looking for or need replacement for so that's why for us having uh, partnerships is very interesting and this is true for many travelers or influencers it could be in any type of industry usually we write to the brands we're interested in uh, via Instagram and we ask them if they'd be interested in partnering up with our product uh, with our project um, because we have a three-year objective maybe a bit more uh, because we have a mission that we want to do because we have the itinerary that we can show uh, to our partners or anyways to our prospects uh, it, it makes it much easier the conversation and makes it much easier for them to understand what we're looking for and why it's interesting for them uh, of course then you have to showcase what work you do so your Instagram page your YouTube page your Facebook page and that's how we try and keep it all active uh, one for ourselves but as well uh, to get further partners so what do we do for the companies so what we do is usually we will show the recep the reception of the package uh, we will open the package we will show how it installs and what the manual looks like we will install it on the vehicle and then we will test it and usually that's a typical video that I would do for a partner uh, and then of course all the tagging and showing the product whenever whenever you use it uh, without ever without being aggressive on like hey this is the product we're using why don't you go buy it because um, there's so many brands out there and it's up to you to decide what you want so who are our partners and why we like them so we've got multiple partners I'm just going to look on the website real quick because I don't want to miss anybody um, the first one we have is uh, BF Goodrich. So BF Goodrich is our tires. And the reason why we like uh, BF Goodrich is because for the next 
three, four years, we will definitely need tires. They are quite costly and we really like the BF Goodrich tires. So for us, it's very helpful to be able to stay with BF Goodrich for the next three, four years and in exchange receive their tires. Um, there is Kony shocks from the Netherlands. Um, we just changed them recently because ours were getting really weary and old. They were on the vehicle, I think, for at least 10, maybe 8 to 10 years. Uh, so we decided to change them and it feels much better. Uh, Roverland, which I just talked about earlier for the heat exchanger of the shower, plus he did all of our electrical system for the batteries. We then have Bart Fuitsma, which is actually a friend of mine. He does websites. And so he created our website and maintains it. And every time I want to update it or upgrade it, he, you know, he takes care of that. So that's superb. Then we have Rough Parts from the, from Switzerland, which is uh, Defender Accessories, and we have their exterior table that folds in and out, which is perfect for when we're trying to eat lunch outside. We then have Energy Mobile for the lithium battery and the charge regulator. We've got Sunware from Germany for the solar panels, so we have one on the roof and one which is a plug and play. We also work with Mud Stuff. Uh, they have tons of Defender and 4x4 accessories inside and outdoors, which is great. Euro 4x4 uh, for all the spare parts, so usually when we're around the world they will ship it to us DHL, so it's perfect for us. We've already had to use our services. Chapka Insurance, uh, this is a French company uh, giving travel insurance, and so we've insured ourselves with them for a full year. Uh, hopefully we can do for a second and then a third year, uh, perfect for our travels. And finally Jackery for portable uh, power stations, which we usually use outside of the vehicle or for when it's bad weather and we don't want to uh, kill the car batteries. And um, these are some of the partners we have so far. It's really hard to get any partners outside of that niche. As you've noticed, all of our partners are very travel focused or defender focused, overlander focused as well. It would be really hard, for example, to work with Canon with cameras or for with North Face because these brands have a very wide um, industry base. So, for example, they could work with, with rock climbers, with uh, hikers, with uh, photographers, with uh, filmers. They could work with overlanding. They can work with anybody, so they'll take big accounts. Um, but when you're looking for, for example, tires, they're very specific to vehicles. So, uh, if you're overlanding, around the world in their tires this would work and it would make sense same for rough parts they have defender accessories i have a defender it functions um, and so for us what we've noticed is the more niche you are the more targeted you are to your uh, type of trip or your type of content then it's much easier to fulfill the the, the, the partnership and uh, we've received some no's which are outside of Target and mostly the ones that are in Target we've received a yes. Um, so for us it's pretty good and so far right now I don't think we need more partners. Of course we want to hear about who would be interested and see what they offer and whatnot. But today all of our partners are we're very happy with and all of our partners are on a free based partnerships so we don't get paid for any of these partnerships. We mostly just get their products and we ask that day and take care of the products by replacing it or by doing maintenance for the next two three years so that we don't have to worry about oh this one's damaged now I should get a new new one and how can I get a new one I just prefer having my contacts calling them and saying hey could you send me a new one or how do we fix it uh, and this is sort of how we do and a lot of youtubers have told me or influencers have told me hey um, you should definitely ask money from these companies. Today I just don't feel comfortable asking for it and we are just already so happy to be able to get these products. Um, and on top of it, we want to focus on the trip and for us the trip is the most important. So if we can keep a flexible contract where we, you know, show these, showcase these products without having to be on a strict rules uh, of timing, of how to say things, we want to do it all of our own way and on top of it be able to keep uh, them as backup for the next three four years as uh, the trip goes along for me that's already on point and golden goal so for now maybe as we grow i'll figure it out but for now i think we're happy where we are so again i'm, I'm hoping this has helped um, of course this is very little information that i've given you because i don't know how much money or how much can you get paid depending on how many followers you have and what the top the products are all of this information i don't have all i know is that 
the more you're a niche to what you're doing in terms of products, you will probably get a yes. Secondly, writing on Instagram is probably the best way. Anyway, I hope this video helped and see you in the next video.